all right good day guys welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and in this tutorial i want to respond to um one of my subscribers and many more would have the same issue um so i'll be able to address a particular problem around the use of product structure and um while um using one of my videos on my channel among many others that i have on my channel product structure tutorial for beginners right um i have a subscriber auto obonguye i hope i use the name properly please pardon me it says please during design how do i change the diameter of links for beams right so and i would like to show in simple steps how you can do that after you might have done your modeling or your analysis and you feel you want to change your um, links diameter or the spacing or whatever it is so um, I'll just show you in few steps so that you can get along and you can enjoy the use of your product structure right so having done everything around this place you can um, find um, on the building set out tab you can find the settings center right you can come here setting center you have a pop-up box here showing you all um, about the product structure settings from from the column and she walls to the beam to the slab to the foundation stairs retrofit wall steel settings analytical models model settings and all others as you can see on your screen so whichever it is you want to actually um, work around you can find them in this tab and work around it appropriately but in this tutorial um we want to show you how to um go around your links diameter settings and see how you can manipulate your way around it all right so um you look for you find beam as you know that is beam exactly um i'm trying to show you here when you get to your beam you locate the parameters and under the parameters as you can see you have your floor beams you have your rib beams you have your foundation beams right so whichever you want to apply the links diameter to uh, make sure that you are you have activated um, that as you can see this is on the floor beams um, this is uh, the rib beam this is uh, also the foundation beams right so whichever it is you want to do and um, it is the links diameter we want to change in this place in this case so you have to just get down to this place find the link diameter by the time you use this drop down you see that you have options of diameters and here i have two options because i've only activated two options into this um, design from my um settings initial settings uh in the materials um settings right so and i'll show you that material settings before the end of this video right so when you get here you can actually opt in for whatever diameter you want to use here but mind you we only having two diameters here because we only activated two diameters for the links in this design right so you know how to toggle around what diameter you want after you've previously activated it in the edit material for this particular design all right so let me go back to showing you how you can activate it previously um or before you begin your design and whatever it is right so but for this place that you can see on my screen this is how you pick different um link diameter that you want to use all right so let's get to um the building and so once you pick y10 you can come here and press ok and it applies to it all right so if you want more diameters to be shown on this previously seen um tab right so you can come right here to analysis then you come to building analysis there'll be a pop-up as you can see then um we can come to edit material so when you edit materials you actually see the rebar diameters if you check through you see rebar diameters and for links you see rebar diameters for links and you see that the reason why we're seeing just two in the previous tab at the setting center is because i only activated y10 and y12 from this end so if you want more probably you want y8 you select y8 and select more as you please right so once you select it here and press ok automatically you have it registered in your settings in your setting center all right so um let's check if we would see there or would need to 
you see now so we have y8 already in the setting center so this is how to go about your links diameter i hope you've been able to um use this explanation of mine um appropriately and if you have questions along this line or even more you can drop your questions queries um in the comment section and i will be there to to respond to you if you are here on my channel for the first time i would like that you please use the subscribe button share with your friend and like this video thank you to missing the next video i'm joshua the designer bye